Hello everybody and welcome back to EVE! Yes, the Purple Pain series is continuing and we're looking for the next biome we're going to get to with our Aardvark rover. This one's called the Western Sea. You might remember we've already visited the Eastern Sea. And that's where we're going to set our next waypoint and let the rover drive to. Okay, we also set another waypoint way up north at some craters. So, here's a map of Eve. Those are all the biomes. We started around here, then we went west a little bit to the Eastern Sea, go figure. Then we're going now east to the Western Sea. Then we're going to head north to look at those craters and then sometime upwards to the poles. And yeah, as I mentioned before in the previous video, where I explained also a bit about how the entire Venus situation versus Eve situation is, I told you that this is a lot of tedious driving and I'm skipping through a very, very, very long time of that in this video. So you're getting the really, really condensed version. I hope you're happy with that. Also, there are some weird surface things going on on Eve. For instance, if we're going too fast, as we're about to go here, for some reason when the terrain uh, connects together, this can happen. Yeah, time to get an old favorite out of the closet. Again. Okay, we are now at the Western Sea after driving east. And we're looking for, well, maybe a chance to collect the biome without having to get into the water. Sometimes the biomes overlap the land and the sea a bit so that you can get the biome data without having to get into the water. But so far we're still only getting shallows. So let's head into the wet stuff. And in order to do that we need a little bit more fuel in order to power our engine. I skipped ahead through the, the uh, ore collection process and there we go! Speeding through the waves of this strange foreign alien substance. I'm trying to find kind of a compromise between speed, stability and not blowing myself up. But I think I'm going to manage to head over there to this island. Yes, this is looking good. Well, let's hope that I can get some biome data over here. Well, so far... It's looking okay, at least I survived everything. And we're in a nice little island in the middle of the Western Sea. So, uh, Eastern Sea, no, Western Sea. I'm getting confused over here! Okay, this is looking promising and I'm, yes, getting my biome data right now. Okay, collecting everything as you know I would. And of course, our little scientist is getting out and collecting all the data. There we go, restoring and getting some surface sample without having to touch the surface, which is... Weird, but practical. Okay, time to head back. I hope I have enough in the tank. I did not drill for more resources. But yeah, let's see if that's enough. I did not even use half of my fuel. I didn't even fill the entire tanks. Okay, well, this might work. This might work, this might work, yes, and we have some to spare as well. Okay, next order of business was heading up north, and while doing that the terrain became increasingly more difficult. You can see me here trying to navigate through the slopes upwards, and yeah, well, that was rewarded by another biome. I'm not even up 3000 meters above sea level and it's already a peak. Go figure. But it's the biome called Peaks and that's why we're going to collect it and also write some stuff on a flag. There we go. 
If you know Eve, then you know, trying to get in at the bottom hatch. Hey, it worked! Great! Uh, if you know Eve, then you know that the highest elevation is something between 7000 and 8000 meters above sea level. So we're not nearly close to that one. And we've got another biome, this time the Impact Ejecta. So we're close to a crater. As you've seen in our, well, map. Well, I'm going to show that a little bit later. Okay, collecting that biome data once more. It's a bit repetitive, but on the other hand, you can see a Kerbal falling down for fun. Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay, and now it's time to head further north. And this took quite a while, believe me, because heading up the inclines was a bit harder. A lot easier was getting down the crater walls. You can see we're here on that crater. And yeah, I figured, well, if I have to go down there, I also have to go up. And even though I reach very high speeds going down, I'm probably bite myself in the behind if I have to get up that kind of slope on the other side. So I decided to reload and head around on the outskirts of the crater. And then something interesting happened. I got another biome. This time the elusive Akatsuki Lake. Which is kind of weird because it's just here. It's on the edge of the crater. On the eastern, southeastern edge of the crater. And it's kind of weird because well, there is no water or some other liquid. Is the crater the Akatsuki Lake? I don't know. Well, since we're so confused, let's write some stuff on a flag to commemorate this occasion. There we go. Akatsuki Lake. Where is the water? Let's head on head further north, because I really want to get to the poles, I really want to get that biome. Okay, and another funny thing happened, because well, while driving only a few meters further north or northeast, I found another biome, the foothills, which look completely identical to the Akatsuki Lake or the Impact Ejecta or some other biome. But who cares? More science data! Yay! Okay, and yeah, the rover has a bit of a difficulty heading upwards. Because this is really steep, at least for a rover on EVE under 1.7g of gravity. Thankfully those rocks are able to be passing through. And now we head further north. Well, east for, uh, on one hand, and then we're going to go up north and head around that crater. But before we can do that, first of all, we have to collect those samples. I couldn't collect before because we were on that inclination. Back into the artwork. And now it's time to shut down for the night, because we won't get any power. And after spending the night inside the rover and looking at some clouds, or hopefully sleeping, I really hope those Kerbals had a good night's sleep, we're heading back for the north. What will we find there? Well, you're going to find out in the next episode of Purple Pain, which will be coming soon. So thanks for watching, goodbye.